and it concerns the sporting houses of New Orleans where the sport wasn't anything to do with tennis or football, anything like that. Downstairs were the musicians earning very little money, upstairs were the girls earning three times as much, playing some kind of sport. Which is why the blues singers used to like to have the girls from upstairs as their girl, because she could afford to rent some place to live. Whereas he, the blues singers never could, because they never earned much money. Nothing's changed. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so a lot of songs kind of concerned with uh, like, if she goes away, you know, my you know my woman's left me on the morning train, and it's a case of you know what do I do now because uh, that means it's, not only is his girl gone, but he has nowhere to live. <laughs> Dual problem. So this is the sporting life blues, and the, the reason that. New Orleans is significant in this is that uh, there was a man whose name was Story and he was on the, uh, the city council of New Orleans and he objected to, uh, you know, he thought that all these sporting houses around the place all over were a bad thing and he said, you know, obviously we can't stop it but we can we put them all into one area, you know, together. And the council thought, yeah, that's a good idea, you know, get all these, these bad sort of places into one district, into the French Quarter, which they did. And then they called it, after him, they called it Storyville. <laughs> Poetic justice. <laughs> so the sporting life moved. <laughs> Young and foolish, and I would not see. Now I have no mother, my sister and my brother, they won't talk to me. She used to fall down on her knees and pray. These are the words that my mother would say. She said, son, oh son, please won't you change your way. world for me. I've 